morning. <laughs> hey, Coda. Um, so we're at Link Inks Lake State Park, right in Texas. Yes. And we just kind of decided to go camping yesterday. And just kind of went for it. We didn't get here until like nine. nine and set up. And so it was pitch black. So we really can't see anything. All we know is we're right next to water. Yeah, some type of lake or river. Yeah. So we're going to go out there right now and it'll be our first time seeing where we're even at right now. So it's supposed to be pretty. Let's go. Quite a few houses over there. Yeah. It's supposed to be a nice day too. Like 70 degrees and it's January. What's in the water? Are those birds? Yeah. Ducks. There's a dam up there. Oh, yeah, there's a lake there. Is that cool. It's like sandy. Yeah, this is like legit like red sand. Yeah, let's go. What in the world? I've never been in red sand. so long since I've seen water. We've been at the water. Please tell me over there that's a bus boat. That's a bus. But it's on the lake. Yeah. What the heck? Interesting. Call me in Texas. Call me in Texas. Okay, it's been a heck of a day. Update, um, we used our headlights last night to help us set up. And then my car seemed like it was dying down. And this morning we tried it and it was completely dead. And so we um, had asked one of the park rangers to help us jump it. And we've never done this to our car before. We've never jumped our car. So we were really like not sure where to put the ground and like trying different things. And I mean, it had been going for a while and our windshield wipers kept like moving even though they weren't on. It was just really weird and we weren't getting anywhere. We were getting less power. Like nothing was showing up anymore. So we were like, okay, something's going on. Then um, the key got stuck in the ignition like stuck wouldn't come back out at all like it was an emergency like thing and then it broke off so my key is in here and but it someone else came and uh we got our car running now which we thought it, we were gonna have to take it to the shop and everything, that was but a dumb ground setup on the battery. <laughs> it was just the ground. We just didn't have the ground, and um, somehow my car's still working with just that. Um, we'll, thankfully, we'll and we're just driving time. around right now. We're gonna go buy jumper cables. Just yeah, in case. that's probably a good idea. Let's go buy jumper cables yeah. to keep in my car at all yeah. times. Yeah, because then we'll have two sets. All right, but we're gonna go to town right now and figure something out um, and just kind of keep my car running for as long as possible so that scare doesn't happen again because that was no fun. We thought we were like either gonna have to have a towed one for sure 
uh, to a dealership and then the dealerships this Saturday they close early and none of them thought they'd be able to get it done today um, as per like the key and everything that happened so we we're like okay well we might have to have our buddy come pick us up three and a half hours away from home um, just to get back to Halton City by Sunday night you know just to go to work so and doctor's appointment and a doctor's appointment on Monday yeah so we would have had a really really crap time but it was just that we just didn't have the ground in the right spot the tow guy came out and luckily he did that first instead of just being like okay let's put it on like he's like people are so so nice in Texas people are very nice in Texas oh like I would and then he charged us like half of what they thought they were gonna have to charge us and I I didn't even think that was bad. He asked me if that would be all right, if it would be okay just to charge us that. And he said, if it's not, let me know and we'll come up with something. But <laughs> I was like, no, that's good. I guess the park I've rangers, saved a ton of money and the, stuff for us. The park rangers here are so incredibly nice too. And they were so helpful. Trying, They were making sure that we got what we needed and we would be okay. They are really nice. Very here. nice. guys thanks everyone in Texas who's nice <laughs> but yeah we're gonna go get some jumper cables and then we'll come back Maybe do a little food. exploring and fishing and finally get to do what we came here for <laughs> today it is so nice out it's 70 degrees right now and my skin has not seen the Sun in forever it's January and it's been really cold so this was like a day out of the blue and I saw it coming so I was like yeah we should go camping and we have our babies babies back here he was chilling and there's like not many people here. Some other people fishing out here, but it is so nice right now and peaceful. And like we're just away from things and it's awesome. Yeah, I'm just gonna soak up the rays. This feels so great. I'm probably gonna get burnt today. This is my life. Koda gets impatient all the time. And this is what we hear. A beautiful day out right now. It's like 70 degrees in January. I'm literally in shorts right now. Like my pale white legs getting some sun. And we're just out here fishing. I'm taking got my camera with me today. Still figuring some things out on it. But it has been awesome. I think I finally figured out some good settings. Got some good pictures of this guy. And of course these babies. They're so cute. That kind of so annoying. Seriously, check out my freckles. I was. <laughs> All right, we're heading out of here. We are exhausted. I don't know why, but the sun zapped me or something. Or I'm just like getting really pregnant and just get tired easily. But um, like even my freckles are out right now. Like it's 70 degrees and it was a great day. But like we said, we're all packed up and ready to go. Stop at DQ to get some ice cream because why not have ice cream on a sunny day? Still got a blizzard. For sure. <laughs> I don't know about that. But thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. 
and have a great day.